It's time now for Truth or Fake. I'm joined for that by Vedika Bahel. Um, Vedika, welcome to the programme. Um, according to some viral claims, a famous, a famous Israeli journalist has been arrested for exposing some shocking news about the Israeli army. Tell us a bit more about this. Yes, Tom, that's right. Several posts online claim uh, that renowned Israeli journalist Ephraim Mordecai has been arrested by Israeli authorities, allegedly because uh, he exposed and revealed uh, that there was piles and mountains of bodies of Israeli soldiers being hidden in hospitals uh, by the authorities uh, whilst their families were completely unaware. Now, posts like, uh, posts like this on X have been viewed uh, over 89,000 times, and they allege that the motivation behind Israel doing this would be to uh, hide casualty numbers, uh, the true casualty numbers of, uh, of their losses in the war with Hamas. Um, hence Mordecai's arrest for revealing this publicly. Now, there is also this video circulating uh, as well, claiming to show uh, Ephraim Mordecai himself uh, entering what appears to be a morgue wearing a uh, Israeli military uniform uh, and showing us these, uh, these these piles of body bags in this cold morgue. However, interestingly, what we do hear in the background is not Hebrew like you would expect, but what we do hear him speaking is actually Spanish. So that's the claims that we're looking at today, Tom. Okay, so these are the claims, but what was the truth uh, about this journalist? Is this uh, true or is this a fake? Well, interestingly, I actually found no proof whatsoever online that this journalist even exists. Um, I did quite a thorough sweep of all social media profiles, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, looking for a journalist profile of Ephraim Mordecai, and I wasn't able to find anything uh, in a journalistic fashion under this name. There was also no articles or media content authored by him as a journalist, which I found very suspicious as a journalist, um, that that wouldn't be the case for any uh, working journalist, especially one that is claimed to be so well known. Now, I did a Google search of his name in English, um, and I did find some news articles mentioning his name. There were maybe six or seven reporting this story. I've done a little montage here of the ones I found. Um, how, they all mention Mordecai's arrest. Um, without providing any further information or source. There's no statement from Israeli authorities or hospitals, no witnesses uh, or quotes, uh, or even the police. There's absolutely nothing. It's very, very bare bones, if you will, the skeleton uh, of the story. Um, the articles are also written, they're all written in a very similar uh, way, which is to say quite vague, and they all tend to use very similar language. So if we just take a quick look, these are all from separate articles which I looked at, but they all use very similar language. We can see their insightful reporting uh, and compelling tales, captivating uh, storytelling, reporting skills. We've again got here insightful analysis and compelling storytelling. So all the signs are pointing towards uh, the articles having been copied and pasted, but they also are very reminiscent of articles that are written by artificial uh, intelligence as well. But overall, I found no evidence whatsoever that this journalist exists at all. Yeah, I love the bit about the mystery about his personal life, adding to his allure and intrigue, especially since it appears he doesn't exist. So, well, Vedika, all of this pointing to the fact that these claims are false, but if that's the case, then who was that person in the video we just saw? Well, Tom, the man in this video uh, is actually Ronnie Kaplan. And after doing a closer look at that video, I was able to spot and screenshot uh, a name badge, which proves that as well. I also managed to find uh, his official X uh, and LinkedIn profiles. And as we can see, that is indeed the same man in our screenshot from the video. Um, I also learned after finding his official profiles that he is a, uh, an Israeli born in Uruguay. He was previously uh, the Spanish language spokesman for the Israeli Defense Forces. Uh, now on his LinkedIn, he states his official role uh, as someone who strengthens ties between Latin America and Israel. In fact, it was Ronnie Kaplan himself who posted that official video that we saw circulating with these false claims. Uh, and he posted it on October 23rd, so quite a while ago compared uh, to these claims that we're seeing now uh, in November. Um, if we also look at the caption of his original tweet, and when I went back and listened to and translated that original video from Spanish, it is very clear from these two things that he is not talking about uh, IDF bodies uh, being hidden in hospitals in piles. He's actually talking about the unidentified bodies of Israeli victims in the October 7th attack uh, by Hamas. Um, there is also a, uh, there's also um, the containers in the beginning of that video there. There was a, a, a serial number on that container. I managed to find 
uh, that same container uh, posted by AFP um, much before. This was posted on the 13th of October, um, and the same container was uh, geolocalized as Ramla in Israel, and also confirmed that it, uh, that it held the unidentified bodies that were waiting to be identified from the October 7th attack. So overall, uh, this video has nothing to do with Israeli soldiers, uh, corpses and hospitals being hidden from their families. Uh, and this arrested journalist uh, claiming to have exposed that false story doesn't even seem to exist, Tom. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for that. Today's edition of Truth or Fake, presented by Vedika Bahel. Thank you very much indeed to you, Vedika.